I think today might be the day that we actually get to bring Horizon Zero Dawn to a close. It's been a long, long journey, but I think we're ready to head on up to Thunderhead and get to the truth of what's really going on up here. Uh, we've completed everything. Um, so yeah, we got to talk to Air Attack before we head up to the mountain, but... I think we're ready to start heading up. As you asked. And our scouts are watching from but our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stakes has it gotten any better? Sharpen your spears. Should we not return? Defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Hey, don't get salty about that. Okay. Hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? Odd. The weight of command is no small burden. I've got my I've got my stream open on the other monitor in Chrome, and I'm not having any issue. But I'm sorry that you're having some difficulty. And good evening, Eddie. Baldy, pass me a sensor, baby. Are you just giving these away? Because I'm not. Cayenne. Gosh, my brain just kept saying Chrome, Chromium. Like, no, that's not the flavor of the bean. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. Ugh. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? Torture, your baby. She's adept with machines, tracking them. Oh, they enslaved them. her? The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. Ugh, that bean. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Evening, Pixel. Purpose. But now that's all she has. Okay. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door. Oh, there's a cauldron up there. Cauldron. New metal. We tried to break through. That makes sense. But it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. Tis true. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. Okay. Why would he know what's past the door? For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Array safe. Okie dokie. That's not metal. Of course it's not. Uh. Oh, I thought I was going to have to scale a mountain or something. Yeah, this is the wall I thought I was going to have to scale. I might. Yo, Mega! Thank you for the host. Oh, there's a door. Disappointing. I can't parkour my way up one more mountain on Pixel's behalf. And a host from CM Code. Thank you very much, fellas. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways. No, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes. Oh, what? Are you developing a punch list like Mads? That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. And a host from Perm. You thank you, Perm. Been necessary to what do you mean, who's Matt? I said Mads. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but. He's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Uh, but, 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 but. 
Yeah, let's talk about silence again. Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Or from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Werak that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. Yeah, Hades taught him well. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. She was real quick with that no. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. Silence is really good at weaseling his way into watch. into situations with Those his special knowledge. Him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. It wouldn't have been necessary if Apollo hadn't Anyone been deleted. Anyone else worn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. Okay. It hasn't been easy for you, Horea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Maybe. I'm more then? likely to derp Once it up. Send, it will be hard to turn back. Ooh. This is the warning. Okay. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! Ah, the vent opening dance. That's how they do it. Okay, that makes sense. So you see, I too can call upon the power of the old ones. <laughs> that patient sigh. Was this place? This uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say it was a battery facility. Well, that's what it said. Medicine. Let's just hope that some remains here. Okay. 
Oh, those aren't handles, Here. are they? Up and over. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. No, no. Ah! There we go. Kenny's homecoming. Uh, turn of the director emeritus. Oh, is this about uh? Well, there was yellow on that friggin' column. That's why I thought it might be a handhold, but it wasn't sticking out. Uh, engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history. Geothermal. Oh, they're using the Yellowstone volcano. Uh, now he wants to check up on his masterwork. Asking questions about science. Science. Was that one of Gaia's AIs? I don't think it was. I don't know what you're talking about. Do what? Okay. And Uva. Okay. I hear something. Oh, it's that machine. Machines. Oh, we got Bellow back. a drop on them. Okay. Come on, look at me. Switch to these for the bellow back. Ooh. Man, that really does a number on them. All right, now the others. Okay, that'll do it. Skadoosh. We must climb higher, and our path will become clear. Okay, sounds like a plan. I probably don't need to be doing a lot of looting at this point, but, you know. Higher up, you say. Okay. The cheating space is measured. Ours is measured. Are you accusing me of being slow? I think air attack is throwing shade at me. Okay, that's not a real door. They're giving me a lot of fire root. What? I didn't mi I didn't miss once. I didn't take any damage from that fight at all. I don't deserve shade right now. I'm not saying I did never, but not right now. Rhea, slow your roll. I'm looking around. Okay, that this was the other ladder up. Oh, might as well make a few more of these too. Anyway, how was everyone's weekend while I'm derping around? Restful, I hope. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to look very cauldrony. our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated. Well, happy fake birthday, Pixel. Taking losses. Now we must prevail. 
With only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. Cover, you say? That sounds like I'm something I'm not very interested in. Now follow my lead. Not a big fan of fighting scorchers, though, that's for sure. This kind of feels like uh, Metal Gear Solid a little bit. Shadow Moses Olive, uh, Island. You know, a little less with the deadly machines, of course, but... I went this way years ago, looking for cover. Machines ain't a problem. I have no doubt they're discarded now, but... Let's have a look at the map. Yeah. We may be able to stay in. We go not all the friends can be seen at first. You uh let's switch to not that. We're stalkers. And we're sneaking. What is that sound? Is that the machine? Araya, shut up! Crap. Not taking it. to cover. Friggin' stalkers coming right this way. Stay as quiet as I can. You'd better. Oh, that long leg might become a problem. Vengeance, thank you for the host. I didn't trip a mine. I wasn't moving. Rare air attack did that. There's a door up ahead. Ta da! Excessive secrecy. That is not what I... Technically, okay. I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it will be completely masked by the caldera. Masked from what? A firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive. Even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? Okay... Well, I'm going to keep the stealth shirt on until I'm in combat. I feel naked a little bit without the, the stealth uh, or without the shield shirt on, but the stealth one's going to be very handy. Metaphorically naked. Jeez. They're not feeding me a bunch of medicine yet. Not that I've needed it. Words. I just like to dive over boxes sometimes. It's fun. I know this isn't the right way. I'm just. 
Okay, so this must have been the alternate way in if I didn't take the path up top. Okay. Feed me a lot of supplies. Maybe to show holograms without a focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Well, I think we're. Correa, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. Okay. I watched the hollow of the toes six straight times. Save the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. Hmm. It'll take Interesting. more than light to alarm me. Famous last words, air attack. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> This is already unrealistic. They're thanking the programmers. For bringing us a real mastermind. I believe Yellowstone is a mega volcano, yeah. I'll second that, Director Chow. Dormant, right, but yeah. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. What is that count? Here's to 1,654 ah. more years. Yeah, I gathered that from the putting the cork in a volcano dead. thing. Yeah. The old but thank you. I could only grasp some of what they said. But I, right it seems like this is also a geothermal power facility. That's what Firebreak was. And it worked. It was for the spirit. Yeah. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. We'll have to carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. Okay. Where I could prevail against before. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system amassed. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All we need to do is install a need as mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even a human being, right? So Cyan was evidently the AI that was designed to run this facility to keep the volcano from erupting. And that's why the volcano is going nuts because it's either been co-opted or screwed with in some way. Let's not jump in the volcano. <laughs> Aloy just makes like a bloop and that's the end of that's the end of Aloy. No. Nope. Is that a watcher? Oh, I thought that was a uh, a long legs. Okay. Right. No, I need you to look at me. Oh, they spotted Aurea. Okay, and they can blow up my cover. Cool. That was terrible. Friggin' scorchers.
That'll do ya. Really? It takes so long to aim that bow. Yeah, but I'm more comfortable with the with the arrows. And I forgot to put my uh Especially given that that shock one explodes on me when it's been fired too often now. Which is kind of funny when I was screwing with it, but it's very much a liability in actual combat. Alright, well we're not sneaking anymore right now. I'm going to put my shield shirt back on. Love this outfit. I don't even know if a human being could actually bear to be in a place like this. Certainly not unprotected. Oh, whoops. Sorry. More machines. Make ready. What? Oh, gosh. I need to tear it off, not destroy it. Terrific. Move, Araya. It's not something I can fire anymore. Awesome. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ow. Hey, do me a favor and stop moving around. Just let me kill you and we'll get along just fine. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go with the lightning gun then. It did? It dropped earlier, but it was just an echo shell. Okay. I see it. Thank you. Yes, the stay in there and get run over strategy is working very well for me. Okay, that hurt. I know you're coming for me. Ow. Or you're just going to reach forward and munch me. That's cool. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I noticed. Ah. I don't put much stock in songs and deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. Now, Aloy, the door. Can you open it? I hope so. 
If it sends another Thunderjaw after me, we're gonna have problems. Air attack, slow your roll, man. I'm literally walking to the door right now. Well, this doesn't look good. I'm seeing those like corruption veins all over it, yeah. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has taken over. It's like an infection attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The second what? The path. Hang on. Wait, that's it? I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. Yeah, this is not over. All right. Let's go. Yes. Finish this. Indeed. The Forge of Winter. Oh, yeah, right. The whole thing is a side quest. Aldrin Absalon. So this is going to teach me to like override scorchers and cross claws and stuff. Oh. I don't know either. I'm just thinking out loud. I want arrows queued up on this one too. Since I've learned you can queue up multiple arrows of different types at the same time. Can be destroyed with projected force? As in, like a terror blaster? Nope. That'll do it too. Look at that, that's pretty. There's something very beautiful about lava. The concept of like flowing fire to begin with. Very beautiful, very dangerous. Stabilization valve. Okay. I know this isn't the right way, I'm just looking around.
Why pick up the medicine when I can just fall off the ledge? thought I died when I made that fall. Oh, thank goodness. These neon handholds are cool looking. Okay, so I do need to get up there. Oh, it's another one of these wheels. Okay. Nope, over, over, over. Jump, Aloy. Thank you. And we'll override this thing. I meant to pick up the medicine right now, Aloy. You were much closer to the medicine. close enough to jump to, but I can probably get back up on them and keep riding them across. hand was vulnerable. There we go. Would you friggin' Tired of waiting for you. You're so slow. Quite certain I don't want to be taken to the lava. Yeah, that's a force field. That doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Can be destroyed with what? I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, which is why I have to get them across. Right. Thank you. Come on over, it's safe. I think. Come on. There we go. Thank you. This place looks more like the mountain used to be. Before the day ruined it. What is this? Exploit successful. Restraints abated to any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. That's one of Gaia's AIs. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their spirit speaks to me. Yeah. Let's keep moving. 
induced coma. That's the big door. There's nothing down here. I'm waiting for it to like reveal some new mega monster as like the boss of this area. What are those? Oh, it's making frost claws. Okay. Yep. Alright, we got a watcher there. Bell walker. Bell walker. Bunch of shell walkers up in here. Another watcher. Ooh, a ravager or a scorcher oh my gosh they're freaking everywhere okay hitting the jackal switch we're going into stealth mode not much cover here. Not really any cover here. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to avoid combat. I might have to actually fight them just to be able to get them across. Oh, how nice! The Scorchers are hopping around! is going to be coming my way any second. Alright, I need to get to that override over there. I knew that watcher was about to turn around, that's why I didn't go for the override first. Still, I've got some of their attention, and I don't want it. Crap. I think I'm going to have to engage them. I prefer to try and take them apart, but if I engage that Scorcher, I'm going to get everybody. I can't kill a Scorcher quickly. Not in any way that I'm aware of. Shell walker is going to be a problem too. It's pretty much just the watchers I can take out quickly. I think I have to take them out. They're not going to leave cover until I do. Okay.
Ah. Yeah, that's a good plan. Shoot it where the Scorcher used to be. That's how it works. What? I meant to hit the weak point on his back. I like it that. Uh, and I forgot to put my shield shirt back on. Nope. Ow. Don't have a good shot. Stop moving. That'll do it. Whoa. Hi. Where'd the other shell walkers go? That was terrible. I can't believe I still killed that thing. I need to get a ray or a talk across. Okay. There's no variety over there. Sorry, my nose is like itching like the dickens, man. It's driving me crazy. There's a way up. Maybe. No, I think this is just. I don't like the sound of that. Come on, faster. Okay. Are they fighting each other? Nope. Really? Thank you. Jeez. What have we here? A handling coil I don't need. And that's it. Cool. I'm not missing something, right? That really is all that's over here. Just that loot. And a cool looking volcano. Oh, there's four. Okay. Shards. Some epic coils and uh, and some shards. I'm down with that. That made it worth the bother. I mean, I don't need any of the mods, but it's still cool. Pretty sure I don't need them. Yeah, I've got higher handling coils, but still, I'm going to delete um, a couple of these. 
Handling coils are pretty rare. Um... Now we can actually make it across the gap that we needed to. Oh, air attack! Do I actually... How did you get a... Why didn't you follow me? We should do it. Fine. Now you can actually get across. Now blast open this door for me. Evidently. Where are you going? <laughs> Open the door. I'm about to learn that I could have used my uh, storm slinger to do all this, aren't I? Uh, uh, Cyan, fire break facility. That's what he's using. Subject sent sentience is assessed at 0 0.54. Subject prior score of 0 0.61 is considered a false positive. Maintained biannual assessment schedule. So they wanted to make sure it was AI-like, but not an actual AI. This corruption, these corruption tendrils look cool, man. <laughs> Jumping down there doesn't seem like I'm, I mean, I guess I, or I could take the ramps. Taking the ramp seems like a smarter idea. What do you think? Let's take the ramps rather than breaking Aloy's legs for no reason. This like thumping noise is reminding me of, uh, it's reminding me of Alien Isolation a little bit. Hey, I'm on the path. Now. I'm not always, but. Ah, crap. I was hoping it was one of those corruption doors I was going to get to test my storm slinger theory. Any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It Which is why the volcano is threatening eruption. Vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Most? Imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. Go figure you get a ton of blaze in a place like this. Machine parts. Don't here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across there. And a tall neck head. Looks like I'll have to go over. I like how Aloy is just quietly surly about it, like, ugh. <laughs> Alright. So I've got to get there. I don't see anything for it but to just drop down. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, can I repel off the uh, tall neck? Yeah. Had the same idea, <laughs> yep. That's pretty. They really think I'm gonna go for that medicine? Oh, there's another way over there, okay. This kill bot brought to you by Poor Aim and Oblivious Watchers.
it's like the third time in this facility I've nearly run headfirst into an enemy. I yeah, but I, it's, it's just kind of, I jump all the time now. Like, it's too good of a thing not to do, and I definitely don't want to get out of the habit of using it, because it's too effective. I know, I'm a constant disappointment, get over it. Ah, there. Remember that that intro that Fixer made? Don't expect skill. It's important to keep your, your expectations properly calibrated for being in my stream. You'll have to toss me! Are you gonna... Eh. Okay, that one's... I was not supposed to get up here by jumping the gap, but it worked. Yeah! Alright. So this is just going to help me get to the other side. And then what? What did that get me? Oh! An override point I'm standing next to, picking my nose. Okay. one's got handholds, but this one at the bottom doesn't. Alright, what's this? Resist freeze. How ironic that you get a resist freeze uh, mod in a volcano. No. That's not irony. That's coincidence. I hope those canisters don't knock me back. Good! Go. Come one. Okay. Jump it. Oh. I really thought Aloy was just throwing herself into the lava there. That slow motion thing, man, it like, it like freaks me out every time. Every time. All right, we've got to watch her. Yeah. No, that's not the way I was supposed to jump across. Okay. Let go! Uh-oh. No! I really thought that thing was about to knock me into the lava. What did this get me? 
path back to where I already was. That is not jumpable. Hand holds! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I don't find anything else, I'll jump it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to die if I try it. Like 90% sure. I'm going to die when I do this. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't die. Arky, thank you for the host. Well, that's the jump I was talking about. Oh, now I gotta make my way up there again. Oh. Okay. Well, as we make our way back over, we'll look around. I hate that feeling, man. It, it gives me a pit in my stomach every time. No, it was there. It had, um... It caught my eye because it was purple, but um, I remember it had a mod in it that I didn't need. So I will look for other handholds while I'm waiting here. Um, I jumped this. I did not. There's this. Yeah. Did I miss it? This is that same platform. Hold on. Okay. So there's this. Hold on, I just want to see where the loot was again. Okay, there's that. Oh, I hadn't been there. You're right. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I was wrong. In a piece of information that, that doesn't surprise anyone, I was wrong. Yeah. Cross. need it. Here. Grab a ride. No. Eh. Crap. Yeah. Before we keep on going, I'm going to take our first little AFK. I will be back in a couple minutes. All right. Let's do it. We made it across. So let's see if we can finish this thing. Oh, I have to keep going. I thought I was supposed to get off there. Nope. Cayenne again. All of these hit me hard in like the back of the throat and I don't know why. Um All right. 
Here's your bridge. You're welcome. All right, now we get to try this out. I have a feeling it's not gonna work, but I gotta try it. Okay, theory validated. How come yours is so special? Last goodbye. Yeah, Anita sealed herself up in Zero Dawn, didn't she? Uh, after I put the pieces together about the swarm, there's a million things I could have done. Whether or not I should text Anita. Okay. What's up, Dracodai? I said that? Um, I was a little disappointed. So I love you. Confused. Okay. Go be with your sister and tell Cyan I said goodbye. Man. Love that was never meant to be. Okay. Yeah, I was like, what is that voice? Activate the source node or fall off the bridge. You know, that's cool. Gilius, a platform and genius. Uh, acting chief digital security officer. Particular pattern for the cyan regulatory AI. Yeah, that's another one of these security thingies. Last time it has to touch every node. And there are no red ones. Okay. Oh, that's not. Okay. That was the wrong way. Scrutiny matrix? Oh, there are red ones this time. Dang it, I keep turning them the wrong way. Crap, I've made a mistake. Uh, where? Can't have been there. Might have been here. Nah, if I do that, there's no way to feed it back to middle. Okay, so then we'll send it out and around like this. Turn this counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. 
or no clockwise, never mind. And counterclockwise. That'll do it. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chamber. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been exposed, but I am incorporated. Man, Hephaestus is a harsh slave master. Shut up. Get back to work. That's all we're going to get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? Well, it must be or else Siam wouldn't be proposing it. And it is a volcano, so. I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. For a second, I thought that was just a long legs, and I'm like, I don't think so. There's no way it left it unguarded. Yeah. It's going to throw everything it has at us. Warning. Warning. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. They did so much better with the faces in this DLC. Then lead us into battle. All right. Keep moving towards the core. Lots of healing now. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Gathered that, did you? I either need to destroy this thing or override it. Okay. There's a control tower down here. Ah, oh, crap nuggets. There's nothing guarding it, though, yet. I'm just going for it. Of course, it gets off one last pulse. Okay. The new unit that Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. Yeah, I had a feeling I wasn't in here alone.
Ow. Jeez. Come on. That'll do ya. Alright, that's not really doing any good. What? to do it if I can hit it come on that was a thing man um let's get rid of I don't think I need the fire claw hard for anything, but I'm taking it. Skadoosh. What happened to air attack? Maria, don't. She's gonna finish it? Zion, please help me. Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Oh, that's pretty. Orea, I'm free. I think Araya just killed herself for this. Escape. Yep. Oh. My sister.
Um, I think it's time to go, dude. This entire place is gonna go. Aratok. 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 Unless you want to go with her, I think it's time we got Let's moving, survive. don't you? Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Artok. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Just in case I run into anything, or it's just instant cutscene. One of those? It's the only way. Oh boy. Yeah, you better hold on. Give me a top bar attack. Now. Her talk, why don't you come up here? That was cool. That was cool. Why, thank you. It's all done. I wonder what Cyan's Ray alternate is facility is. What Probably Cyan something we'll find out when it's subsequent entries. She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat. Ah, right. I thought and that I was just a remote there. control facility. The last verse of my sister's song. See you there, dude. I'm gonna fast travel. have to actually go up there myself, huh? Or maybe I do. Oh.
It'll be a sad thing to say goodbye to Horizon Zero Dawn, but I will admit I enjoyed this game far more than I expected to. Um, even though I was not that great at it, um, I've enjoyed it quite a lot. It's a good game. And now I think, I mean, the DLC has not added a lot to the main story unless something happens during this particular scene. Um, but I, I think I'm still looking forward to seeing what they do with the subsequent entries of the series because like that whole thing about, um, uh, Hades being unshackled by this mysterious signal of unknown origin, like, that's obviously a teaser to be solved for later. A little seed for just thought to grow on. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this. Okay. And we're back. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Yes. Aloy, I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, I... So after all this time alone, Siam finally had a friend. Any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. And now Siam's lost her friend. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Was Hephaestus destroyed? It was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's, it's not gone. gone. We're probably not very happy with us. To make exactly. machines for the future! Um... How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Well, assumption. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes, yes I am finally found I her found herself anxiety. in over her head. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network, 
and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions. I saw that it had a pain response as part of its AI uh, testing. That sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. Jeez. Hephaestus and Zero Dawn. Fire or a fire project. break. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised What's up, elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. A little bit, yeah. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Okay. Uh, let's get back to Hephaestus. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled for a by an little AI while. named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. Yep. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. How you doing tonight, Perm? Why does Hephaestus want to kill? Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes. So this is just an escalation? This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution. Well, I mean, Hephaestus has kind of gone black hat at this point. The system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, um, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Okay, I found something that calmed the machine. I ran across this strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. That's the thing we found earlier. Yeah. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. Yeah. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. Kill all humans. To correspond with such a benevolent AI. 
I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. Metal flowers? Man, this conversation just keeps on a going. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, <laughs> not verses that I enjoy. Something I'm a little off topic. These machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous? Like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is Flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. Okay. Um, was Demeter one of the, uh, the Zero Dawn people? I don't, re I don't recall that name. I mean, I recognize it from Dresden, which is obviously a reference to something else. But okay. I don't know. You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. It's going to be like that, Perm. Although I do fear non-existence. You I are welcome. Could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. Do you know what happened to your colleague, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. Yep, that's from the logs we were picking up. It was a very emotional conversation. He didn't know what to tell you. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow. To I find office. it interesting that Chow describes Cyan as having a childlike intellect, but Cyan actually seems fairly intelligent and well-reasoned. Um, so are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response okay that's a mouthful but your emotions don't seem limited to me you cared about Araya, didn't you yes before she came to this facility i had been conscious for centuries in solitude i focused on my work in off cycles i used coping mechanisms i solved many gaussian integer problems but I was alone. Okay. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Hmm. Wonder Cyan didn't go nuts too. Yellowstone. So in the old world, 
This land was called Yellowstone. Yes. Yep. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No. No. The opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. Which is why they were talking about From renovating the park while Andrea's it was closed. It seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A you lot think? Has in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. Well, it just about failed. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories <laughs> and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. <laughs> These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. <laughs> and some really terrible music. There's a ruin east of here full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yeah, what was yes. the part of these drone armed drones to protect Yellowstone? Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Not everyone in a position of leadership is suited to it or should have ever had it. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you. Yes, in many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations to military grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems Evidently. To create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Yeah, the last thing they want is to be killed by a swarm of self-intelligent machines um, whom they can't reason with because it's smarter than they are. Oh, wait. One second. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. The benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. Yeah, before he sent it off point, the cliff. He was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up How about that? the man who destroyed the planet twice over? And Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was it like? In what way? What was the old world like? Oh, I see. The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval an incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. 
Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. Fuck evil. And no. Doctors, my creator, but I never. I didn't mean to say that. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause. Catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable yeah. surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished as much as 20% of the global population until the clawback so things got better for a little while at least yes these crises instigated many advances in automation green robot technologies and artificial intelligence firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in north america alone I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was well. And the one other AI succeeded. she's had contact with attacked her. That was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems until, my assessment was premature. Yeah, until the swarm. Yeah. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Our attack will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Araya. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. thinking gently too i mean i the manuk shouldn't be kept in the dark um and the presence of knowledge in the world will do a lot to counter the the missing presence of apollo in everyone's lives but you can't just friggin like hit them with it upside the head like you got to guide them to it <sighs> well hephaestus is gone from cyan but it's around yeah exactly life is hard with the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communing there you go. machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon They're going to end up worshipping her. I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable you're right about that trust me oh uh, yeah Aloy would know i will follow your advice will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world i may be able to provide further insight i'd like that cyan i'll come back when i can i should check on our talk cyan i doing. spoke with anita with with dr sandoval she wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? Uh, I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and... We need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. Might be a very long time. Real long time. Will you be here when I reboot, Dr. Chow? Will Dr. Sandoval? No, nope. Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone. At least, not at first. Dr. Chow. I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. I know, Cyan. I'm afraid too. But listen, we made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent. So intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable. What you're feeling, the fear, it's a sign of 
your capabilities. And it means you're strong enough to overcome it. Remember that. You're strong. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up. And protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. And I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, Dr. Chow? Yes. I, I need to go be with my sister and my nieces. May I make a small request of you, Dr. Chow? Yes. Anything. Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Oh, jeez. Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. Man. That kind of goes back to the whole, like, nervousness about Zero Dawn as a project itself. Like, could you imagine being in the position of, like, the future of humanity rests on your hands, and you have to hope that what you built does the, tr does the trick, but you'll never be around to find out. Like, ah, uh, maybe Yellowstone will erupt. You won't be there. I hope you did it right. Like, that's got it. that's so nerve-wracking. Will you hold my cables? Read me a story. There's the childlike intellect I was that they were describing earlier. My chieftain. Just Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Aurea would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted, to find her destiny. If that's destiny... I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I don't think you understand the significance of what she but did. she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. So that's so one I way to look at it? Passing, at last I truly know who she was. And why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something I noticed else, the paint there? he's added to the I gaps in his, his mutton chop soul going, patch combo. The war I can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one. For the really? We shared. I don't. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. I'm your chieftain. It would seem your time among the Banuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds on their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? 
before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. Hades is gonna kill you, you idiot. Because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Man. Aloy is sassy. Yeah, and that's the that's the main quest thing. Uh, Delon Mikado. Out of the forge. Kill the fire claws. Yep, I'm I I think I'm good. Um so I think we're done with Horizon Zero Dawn. Um uh,